Okay, so here we have my lipstick collection. Um, I tried to film this earlier when I was filming the rest of my declutter. It's now several, several months later and I haven't actually touched any of these lipsticks since then. So um, I'm going to start with the lipsticks that I know I want to keep. And I've got a basket, um, the bottom half of a greeting card box, a glossy box, and I've got another basket over here. Um, I would prefer my keeps only to fit in these boxes. That is the the goal. So I'm going to start with the ones I want to keep most. Um, I know I definitely want to keep all of my Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks. I do love them, but I don't get to play with them as much because I have so many other lipsticks that I feel like I should be using. And I just, I love these guys so much and they just need, they need more love. So I'm going to keep all of my Be Legendary lipsticks. I'm also going to keep all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks because I adore them and I know they are mostly new. Ones I know I'm possibly definitely getting rid of are my Soap and Glory lipsticks and some Estee Lauder ones. Um, like these guys. They're just so old. The pure colour ones, I know that I can get these in the new range if I should so fancy. Um, this is Rose Tea, I freaking adore that shade. I went through a full, um, I got a, I went through a full tube like this. This is like the tester free sample tube that you get with gifts with purchase. I went through a whole one and then went and bought this one of which I've use a considerable amount of um but these just need to go um so anything that's in this packaging is going to go this is fearless fuchsia no fuchsia fever i do love it but it's very similar to flower fabulous that's why i bought it um same with crystal rose and crystal baby these are all available in the new range pink berry i think the only one that isn't is vanilla truffle but I do have other lipsticks that are very similar and if not I will take this into an Estee Lauder counter and see if they can shade match it for me. So Go Pile is over there. Um, I'm torn about my um my Rimmel ones. I don't know whether to keep them. I don't really reach for them a whole lot again because I have so many other. Oh god, that one can just go anyway. That's like a nothing color. Pink Cognito. Jeez, oh, get rid of that guy. Uh, Caramel Glacé. I use this one quite a bit. Um, I think one of my favorite ones is because, gosh, one of my favorite ones from the range is Smoky Rose. Um, it's it's generally a favourite lipstick shade. And we have, you know, like Revlon, Revlon Red. But do I need another red in my life? I have so many. I'm not sure. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to the Revlons. I saw a couple of Soap and Glory ones. This one is in Naked Talent. Did I like this? It's nice, but I don't need it. I'm sure I saw another one. Nope, I can't spot it at the moment. My double wear lipsticks I'm going to get rid of because they are so, so old. 2010 these were manufactured. I adore them so much. I love them. But they are so old. I wish they would bring back this formula. I had them in shade cranberry and honey and they were beautiful and I think I might just keep the packaging just for nostalgia um, but apart from that them's is going
We have Super Nude, which I do like Super Nude. Um, I had the old version. I do have so many lipsticks like this. I do. I'll hold on to it and if I don't make any significant progress on it throughout the year, it's, it's gonna go bye byes. We have my Guerlain Rouge Automatiques. Um, I have this one and I have another one. This one is in shade Samsara. Here's the other one. This is in Juki. These are gorgeous. They don't make these anymore. I think I might keep hold of one of them just for the packaging. They are gorgeous colours, but again, they're nothing special. Um, they're just Guerlain. You know? It's just, it's just the name. They are gorgeous, though. Um... I think I might just give this a quick tidy and then come back. Okay, so now everything's pretty level. Um, it's not in a big pile or anything. I pulled out all of my Smashbox lipsticks and all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks while I was at it. Um, there's one that I definitely want to keep. This is Nude Spice. Uh, this is an Estee Lauder lipstick by... Victoria Beckham it is stunning. I adore it. I'm keeping it. I want to keep my YSL Rouge for Up shines. Um, I do need to get more use out of these guys. I mean, I have been using them clearly, um, but I want to use them up. I have like six shades. I think one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's my nude beige. Mm, do I want to retire it? I don't know. I think I should retire it because it is really old. But it's just, it's so stunning. It's so stunning. Like, I mean, it's... It's nothing crazily special. I mean, it's very similar to that one from... Soap and Glory that I got rid of. Actually, in the viewfinder, it's nothing alike. In person, they are kind of similar. Oh, I think I might just retire it. Retire that guy. Um, and we're going to hang on to the rest of them. I think this is my last Soap and Glory lipstick. I can't see another one at the moment. This is in the shade Fifth Avenue. Um, again, it's really similar to other stuff I have. I think I might just pass on it. It's nothing really all that special. Okay, so I took a minute to round up all the Revlon lipsticks and I, I got a wipe. Um, so we're going to go through the Revlon lipsticks really quickly and see what's what. Uh, so we have Cherry Blossom, oh, which is very similar to a lot of stuff I have. Uh, Pink Pearl. Again, not really a lot of colour there. Uh, Caramel Glacé, which I've already swatched. I do like that one. Uh, Wild Orchid, which I remember really liking. So I like that a lot better than Cherry Blossom. Um, Revlon Red, we have swatched. Do I need to keep it? Not really. Uh, Pink in the Afternoon, I have had this for quite a while. And it does actually kind of remind me of the YSL. Let's just really quickly. Oh no, it's totally different. Yeah, they are totally different. What was I even thinking? Uh, pink in the afternoon. Do I want to keep you? We'll hang on to it for a little bit and see. And see. This is Mink. Again, I've had this a really long time. I do have things very similar to it. I don't wear it all that often. It can go... It was the first lipstick of that shade I've ever owned and ever really seen. Uh, this is Copper Frost. I just... I 
Oh, it's crazy, but I do like it. Uh, Rich Raisin Frost, again, I do really like this one. It's perfect for this time of year. And the last one is Sassy Mauve. Oh my goodness, I think I must have got rid of Smoky Rose at some point. Did I? Oh no, here it is. It was hiding from me. It's a Sassy Mauve. I do really like Sassy Mauve. We'll keep that guy. And this is so Smoky Rose, the one I keep banging on about. See, it's kind of, it's ever, it's, it's kind of like mink, um, but warmer and easier to wear. We'll, we'll keep, we'll keep Smoky Rose. So we're getting rid of four Revlon lipsticks, five Revlon lipsticks actually, because we got rid of Pink Cognito earlier. I thought I'd go through all of my Maybelline ones. Um, Oh, there's one other, um, I found another Soap and Glory one. This is in Cinnamon Beige. Again, I'm not. I've got so many other lipsticks like it. I don't need to hold on to it. I rounded up all of my Maybelline lipsticks. I thought I had more. I could have sworn I did. Um, I'm guessing I must have gotten rid of them and forgotten I'd gotten rid of them. Um, oh wellsies. So here we have, we have two red lipsticks. We have Ravishing Rose. Which feels rather dry. It doesn't, oh I just got that on my nose. Lovely. It doesn't smell funky or anything. Do I like the colour? Not particularly. This is Red Revolution. This I like the colour of. Doesn't smell funky or anything. We'll keep this one and get rid of Rev Revolu um, Ravishing Rose. This is Divine Wine. Don't like it. Uh, Rose Rush. Mmm. Mmm. No. No. Bye. Siren and Scarlet. Shocker. Another red. Although it is a nice red. Do I need it though? So many red like it. Just buy. Uh, Clay Crush. Again. So many things like it. And then we have Magnetic Magenta. Oh, we'll keep you. Oh, but you're starting to smell a bit. Yeah, that's starting to smell a bit. You know what? We'll, we'll just get rid of it. It smells. There's no... No, I'm not keeping it. So that leaves us with one Maybelline lipstick. Tell a lie, there is two other Maybelline lipsticks. These are from the Super Stay range, which has been discontinued for a while. This is non-stop red. Um... It is a very pretty red. And it still smells fine. Um, we'll see. And uh, this is Ravishing Rouge, which has had a child dig its fingers in, apparently. Um, I have other nicer colours. And there's hair on that. So these guys can just, like, let's just depart part ways, part as friends. Um, so I've pulled forward all of my NYX lipsticks. Um, I started buying NYX matte lipsticks a very long time ago, by a very long time ago. I think we're talking maybe 2012, possibly. I bought my original ones from Cherry Culture, so we're talking a very long time ago. <laughs> uh, this would be one of the original ones, this is Bloody Mary. And it smells. 
Can you tell I like the shade of red? A lot of my reds seem to be this color, but that can go. Uh, this is natural. I don't, I don't know if this is what they're meant to smell like or if this is what they smells like. Oh, that's natural. It is pretty, but I don't know. Well, this one doesn't smell. This is sable. It doesn't have that sort of minty wax smell. But the colour itself is hideous. So that does not bode well. Uh, this is street cred. This one doesn't smell either. But again, I don't think I would ever really wear that colour. I don't know how well the colours are showing up on screen, but that's like a really fluorescent coral. This is couture mode. Uh, that one's starting to smell a bit. And I wouldn't wear that colour anyways. Uh, this is Sierra. That one doesn't smell too bad. Um, I would wear that, actually. I would. But again, I have other colours like it. So I don't really need to keep it. Uh, this is shocking pink. It is beautiful. It doesn't smell. Very similar to magnetic magenta, which we got rid of. Um, so I might keep hold of this guy. This is indie flick, which I love this shade. I love this bright shade of orange. It doesn't smell either. It's so pretty. I don't think it's showing up half as vibrant as it is in person. This is Eden. That is a gorgeous red. Grip will keep you. Uh, this is Summer Breeze, which again doesn't smell, but the color. I don't really reach for that shade of pink very much. So it can just bye byes. Uh, this is Euro Trash. No smell. It's very similar to Mink from Ravlon, which is not really a colour I gravitate towards. So it can go. Uh, <laughs> this is actually turning out very easy. Truest, no, Perfect Red. That's actually kind of similar to Eden. It's still like a shade lighter. I don't really need another red like that though. And then lastly we have Aria. Which smells fine. And it is a beautiful purple. We'll keep hold of you. Okay, so I'm only keeping four of my NYX lipsticks. I found another Maybelline one and another NYX one. This is Craving Coral. This doesn't smell. And it's stunning. So we're going to keep you. And then we have Audrey from NYX. Which doesn't smell either. And that is a nice kind of baby pink colour. I will keep that one. Okay, next I've pulled out my higher end lipsticks. I only have a couple of each. Um, so we're going to quickly run through. This is Sugar from Elizabeth Arden. Does not smell. And it is a nice sort of nudie colour. I do have quite a lot of this colour. Do I need to keep it? I mean, it would be a nice work colour. We'll, we'll keep it for work. Um, I have a Lancome one in Beige Miracle. That is nice. Swatch on a less stained area. Again, it's just a nice sort of wash of nude. Again, it would be a nice work colour, so we'll, we'll keep it for that. 
Um, I have this one from Essie Lauder. This is Tiger Eye. I know I can get this in um, the new formula. It is a gorgeous metallic lipstick. Um, but I will keep hold of this one for a little bit. It doesn't smell funky or anything, so it's still good. I have a three from Clarins. This one is Nude Rose, which is a gorgeous pinky. These are the Rouge Eclat. And they smell fine. Um, it's been so long since I've worn it, I don't know if I like it. I mean, it's pretty. I would wear it, I think. But I'd need to try it on. This is Wood Rose. Which looks very nice. It still smells fine, too. And then we have Chocolate Rose. Which... Mm. Mm. That one smells funky. So we're going to get rid of Chocolate Rose and I think that would be a bit too dark for me anyway. Um, yeah. I don't think I would wear that. I have one from Guerlain. Uh, this is in the shade 11. It's a very pretty nude shade. And it still smells lovely. So we're keeping the other two Clarins, if I didn't already say. Um, I have a couple from Dior. I have three from Dior. We have um, Swan. I've never really gone on with this colour, Swan. Um, we're just going to let it go. Um, next we have Promenade and Classic Matte. So that's Promenade, which is nice. And then we have Classic Matte, which I really like. So we'll keep both of those guys. I have my three. No, that's only two. There should be a third. Uh... There. We have my three Bobbi Brown lipsticks in brown, brownie, and beige. Brown. Smells fine. This is why I got rid of so many of the, these colours, because I have them here. This is brownie. Again, smells fine. It's very similar to that chocolate rose from... Clarins, and then we have beige, which again smells fine, and that is beige there. So we're going to keep those three, try and get them finished up this year. I have six from NARS. Do I only have six? Yes. So we have... Chiappe, which is a fluoro pink, smells fine. I think this I just bought for the shock factor. I mean, I probably would wear it. I'd I'd need to work out how to, but I think I would wear it. Uh, this is jungle red. Smells fine. Uh, this is also why I was very picky about keeping reds because I have three gorgeous reds here. Then we have Red Lizard, which again, smells fine, looks gorgeous. I do need to get these used up though, they are getting up in age. Uh, this is Pigali, again another one of those brownie shades, smells fine. It is rather dry, but I think that's just the nature of the NARS formulation. There's Pigali. 
This one is Shanghai Express. Smells fine. Gorgeous, deep color. And then lastly, we have Rose Cliff. Which looks like that. It's just a gorgeous sort of brownie nude shade. So we're going to keep those guys because you like them all. 